said I'ma crush it, call me. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker, purveyor of awesome and the host of Unsung, Pittsburgh's premier nonprofit news magazine show. This week we're coming to you from Point Park in the site of this year's, as always, Three Rivers Arts Festival. In the last episode of Unsung, we heard from young professionals making a difference in Westmoreland County. In this edition, we turn it over to young professionals in Pittsburgh as we hear from the Young Nonprofit Professionals Network of Pittsburgh. We also get a behind the scenes look at the latest edition at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. But first, here's a look at what's going on with our area nonprofits. The Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh Westinghouse 6 through 12 is celebrating the first phase of Warhol at Westinghouse, an artist residency and art education program at Pittsburgh Westinghouse in Homewood. The program provides art and culture opportunities for at-risk students by creating hands-on learning experiences led by professional artist Alicia Wormsley and art educators from the Warhol over a one-year period. Wormsley will create artwork with the students inspired by her project, Reverse Migration Project. The project follows the migration of African Americans in reverse, Pittsburgh to Africa. Through this work, Wormsley and the students will explore ideas of finding Africa in Homewood. The Warhol artist educators will provide art demonstrations at Pittsburgh Westinghouse and tours and workshops at the Warhol for the students. Their learning experience will be culturally sensitive and connected to the reality of their lives while building comfort and familiarity with accessing a cultural institution. The Congress of Neighboring Communities, Connect, will be holding its fourth annual meeting on June 14th. Attendees will include the membership of Connect, local elected and appointed municipal officials from Pittsburgh and the 36 municipalities that make up Allegheny County's urban core and representatives from local government and civic organizations. Connect continues to make great strides in collectively addressing the issues that impact its members individually as well as the region, said Connect Chair Patricia Schaefer. We look forward to presenting the progress of the projects discussed during the last Congress and past resolutions that will guide our work for the next year. The 37 Communities Connect came together on their own to develop and implement common solutions to the issues facing our region like blight, stormwater management, economic development, and sustainable energy. That type of partnership makes those communities stronger and make our region successful because of their strengths. At Unsung, we encourage you to get involved because you can make a difference in our community. YNPN might be a great place for you to start. Here's their story. YNPN wants to be the first stop for nonprofit professionals when they're just entering the uh, nonprofit sector. Our goal is to create a community where the nonprofit leaders of today can share their knowledge and experience with the leaders of tomorrow. YNPN stands for the Young Nonprofit Professionals Network. Uh, the organization itself nationally was formed in 1997. Our local chapter here in Pittsburgh was formed in 2009. And it started with a group of individuals that sat down and were just having very frank conversations about the future of the sector and realized at that point in time that there was a gap that there was going to be a gap not only in executive leadership, but just in the rest of the field. He calls up one day and he's like, hey, I've got this idea. I found this national organization um, that I think would be a really great resource if we had a Pittsburgh version of it. He said, do you want to be a founding board member? He, he apparently called a bunch of us up like this. And um, he told me about what it is. I went to ynpn.org, read some information about the group, and I said, wow, that would be a great resource to have here in Pittsburgh. So I signed up. And realized at that point in time that there was a gap, that there was going to be a gap not only in executive leadership, but just in the rest of the field. Everybody else employed in the nonprofit sector that currently weren't getting educational opportunities, chances to f further develop, um, and didn't really see the avenue to move up at their organizations. The mentor pairing is for um, seasoned veterans to share their, their knowledge and their experience with a person who's just coming in and maybe wants questions on a specific career path or maybe they want to know more about a particular facet of nonprofit 
um, since there's so many different avenues that you can go. One of the real benefits uh, for the youth in the sector, for people coming out of college, possibly in college still, just starting their first uh, opportunity is a volunteer in an organization. But it's a chance to really see the inner workings, to understand what's going on. Uh, the for-profit and non-profit world are very different. Uh, they're really night and day. So it's a chance to get onto a committee, to start learning how organizations run, to be part of a board of directors potentially, uh, gives insight that most people don't get until they're well into their future. This is a nice glimpse into what might be coming down the road. I was blessed to find a, a resource um, to find the connections and the networking and the, and the individuals that had, that had come together within YNPN and to find, find a base of individuals that I could learn from, that I could network with, that I could offer my services to um, and in the same way take advantage of the, the help and the assistance they provided. One of the things that I've gotten out of this organization are relationships. Uh, I've had the opportunity to see a lot of people grow and develop through the process. Uh, board members we have on board uh, who started at the committee level, that have become board members, uh, individuals from outside of the sector that have gotten involved more because they've been a part of this organization. Uh, my personal relationships with not only our board members, but all of our all of our members, 300 individuals I'd never met before. Uh, we are also looking for committee members for various committees that we have and this is an area where we don't necessarily want everyone that's a seasoned veteran. We want the young, fresh voice. We want the new ideas. If you have ideas about something um, or you have questions about something, chances are peers that are coming into this industry at the same time also have those same questions and also have fresh ideas. So we would love to be able to pull everyone together. New people, young people, seasoned people come together and build a community we have a number of individuals already part of our organization they're looking to give back and through that our mentoring program matches mentors and mentees to start building a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship uh, to gain access to that program you simply go onto our website grab the application there's also a lot of background information into what to expect uh, from the relationship on your end as well as your potential mentor what they're going to be doing uh, that application can be sent in to us via email or mail and we will reach out to you to let you know once we have a uh, an individual to pair up with you. Our website is ynpnpgh.org. We are also on Twitter and we are on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. So there's any number of places you can find us. And if you'd like to send us an email, it's info at ynpnpgh.org. You know, I go to the zoo all the time. I love the zoo. Try to play with the baby sea otters, but that thick glass is in the way. <laughs> And speaking of, we just happened to get a contributed segment, which is a special tour of the new animal care center at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. Welcome to all of you. This is such an exciting day for the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. And I am thrilled to be here to welcome all of you. This is such a great celebration, this grand opening of the animal care center. It's been a long time coming and it is well worth the wait. It's fabulous. The research, care, propagation, and conservation of the species attribute to the biodiversity of this planet, making our world not only more beautiful, but more inhabitable. This animal care center is 22,000 square feet, and it features a wonderful lower level where we have our animal health center, where we actually have our veterinarian hospital for the zoo animals uh, to make sure we take care of them. Our collection has grown so much over the years since we first started working on the zoo and re really rebuilding the zoo over the last 20 years. And uh, we really had actually just outgrown the small space that we had before as our animal health center. And so we had fabulous veterinarians, we had fabulous veterinarian technicians and a great team working in our animal health center and we just needed to give them the home that they deserve to help take care of our wonderful collection of animals. Co-chaired by Kaya and Mike Tomlin and supported by Pittsburgh college students and young professionals, the Pittsburgh Promises Charity Dance-a-thon will kick off at Stage AE at 8.30 p.m. Thursday, June 14th and end on Friday morning, June 15th with a sunrise yoga and barbecue. For every $1.50 raised by this event, it will be matched with a dollar from UPMC. 
In addition to the enthusiastic participants dancing from sunset to sunrise, the evening's performances will include award-winning R&B recording artists Ashanti, G Love and Special Sauce, DJ Zimmy, and DJ Bonix, as well as a host of other top DJs in the region playing through the night at Stage AE. It's easy and fun to raise money for Promise Scholarships. Anyone can participate by completing the online form at ignitingthepromise.org slash get hyphen started dot php. Or please sponsor someone who is dancing or just send a gift on your own. The 48-hour film project comes to Pittsburgh on the weekend of July 20th through the 22nd. Filmmakers from all over the Pittsburgh area will compete to see who can make the best short film in only 48 hours. The winning film will go up against films from around the world, and there's also a meet and greet on June 22nd. You can find out more at 48hourfilm.com slash Pittsburgh. I Made It Market is partnering with Rivers of Steel National Heritage Area to bring you a unique opportunity to enjoy the historic setting of the Cary Blast Furnace site while shopping at the I Made It Marketplace. The event will be held 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday, June 16th on Father's Day weekend. For more information, visit imadeitmarket.com. Thanks for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. I'm going to go check out this weird fish. So I said I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. Any